This will be a great time though, because I am out of super compost, ultra compost, volcanic ash, all that stuff. So make my next 1000 ultra compost nice. Come on. Oh, yes! Holy shit! Yes! Let's go, man. I got the bottomless bucket. Yo, that's so good. Okay, perfect timing. Oh my god. Let's go, man. I should probably do his spores though, regardless, because those seed drops are the same, but... Look at my goddamn compost. 13 super compost, 10 ultra compost. I got nothing left. Uh, okay, so let's look again. 232 brews, 300 restores. Alright, should be good for a while. Uh, just gotta upkeep my bird houses and the occasional farm runs, and there's really no problem. I have plenty of seeds, anyways. Thanks to contracts and stuff. The volcanic ash update is insane. Oh, <laughs> I got four from one pick. Wow, this is going to be so easy. I was just AFK chilling, mining some volcanic ash, and I'm already at 3,000. Honestly, it felt like an hour and a little bit more maybe. I did end up getting about 1,100 ultra compost made. Just use it on the bottomless bucket. Just gonna do all of the ultra compost. Fill in the bucket with compost will make the bucket and trailable if empty. It can be made trailable. However, all compost contained within is lost. Okay, it's not a big deal. That's fine. Oh wow, just leaves me with buckets. Okay. I can use these to fill buckets of sand, but hey, that's awesome. Check the contents of the bucket. Dang, look at that. It doubled it. Your bottomless compost bucket is currently holding 2,300 uses of ultra compost. That's sick. And also, this is just the all-in-one compost bucket, so it's going to make my farm runs a little bit more uh, relaxing here. This is a good example of how to use the blowpipe against the shamans effectively while maintaining maximum DPS and maintaining minimal run usage. So the secret is you want to move one step at the same tick that the boss is supposed to attack. And then after you see the attack animation, you will move two steps forward to the direction that you are going. That way it will dodge the poison. It is not the easiest method to get used to. Sometimes I don't really find it too worth it because if you're short on food, I wouldn't recommend it just because the Barneys will most likely do some damage to you and you also run the risk of the poison blob hitting you, which can kill you if you're low on HP. So really use this method at your own risk. Uh, this way is a bit slow because that's prep. Oh, yes! Let's go! A purple! Let's go, man. Alright. Oh, when was the last time I got a purple? Let me check. Let's go, man. Alright, so last time I got a purple was hat at 39kc. Really? I had 6 drops by 39kc. Wow. Apparently, I just broke a 60... 60 something kc dry streak. Wow. Uh, it's been a while since I've had one of those either. Damn, dude, that's insane. Holy shit, let's go, man. Let's go. Oh, dude, if it's a deck scroll, that's gonna be so nice, because I do have over 100 KC now. I'm on, like, 102 or something. So, yeah, let's go. Here we go, boys. Oh, yo, yes! Dex prayer scroll, holy shit. That's so fucking nice. Holy shit, boys. Let's get it, let's get it. That's insane. That is so nice. I just unlocked that sh shit today, dude. Oh, my god. Damn, I don't even have to worry about it, guys. No, no having to wait. There's no waiting, dude. All right, let's just earn it, bro. We've earned this one, so it's time to just use it right now, man. That's that's crazy. All the prayers are gonna be unlocked. So, would you like to absorb its power? Hell yeah, I do. I'm gonna learn it right now. Let's go. Study the scroll and learn a new prayer. Rigor. Oh my god, that's gonna be insane, man. Holy shit. This. If I thought Arbery was a crazy ass upgrade, you know, from uh, Mystic Might, this this is gonna Blow the ego eye out of the water, dude. Honestly, that is so good. So, let's go ahead and find ourselves the Dexterous Prayer Scroll here. That's going to be checked off. There we go. Very nice. So, that's four uniques uh, in 100 raids so far. Give me a runecrafting level. Yes! I need high runecrafting. I think 50, right? Infusing. 
Oh, 60. Jeez. Uh, well, Primordial Grind is coming up soon, so I'm probably going to have to do some active uh, rune crafting. But hey, 49 though. Oh, what is that? 47. Holy shit. From 44 to 47. I'm pretty sure that's what my max, that's my max hit right now. So one of the common issues that I've noticed people ask me about is how do you do meter down a room while taking a lot less damage? So to be upfront with you, you will take a lot of damage in meter down a room no matter how good you are. But at least with the tree cutting part, there is definitely a technique or a few techniques to keep in mind to really help you reduce damage. Number one is having a good balance of either ranged defense or magic defense. So I'm using void. So I inherently have some pretty solid magic defense, but it doesn't have good range defense. And that's important too. So that's why I have a crystal shield. I use the shield for a bunch of different things, but I'll cover the shield just for this topic. I put on the shield so that'll double my range defense close to 200. Another technique is using prayer flicking. So when muted out is far away, the small one, I make sure I put on protect from range. And if it's next to me, I make sure to put on protect from melee. When the small Mew Dao is on cooldown, you should turn on Protect from Mage to reduce some of the Mama Dao's magic attack. And also put on your best defensive prayers. For me, I have Augury, so that's another highlight here. This Augury is amazing because it reduces physical and magic attacks chance of hitting you. So that's really important. If you don't have it, um, use Piety or Mystic Mike or Steel Skin. You know, you can combine those two as well. Combining all these tips will drastically reduce how much damage you take at this boss. Nice, got a good hit. Oh, 48 heal with the blowpipe. Let's go, man. I definitely couldn't do that before. That's for sure. I was really hoping for a big as hit. Oh, 31. Damn, that was beautiful. Too good, too easy. With the rigor. Holy shit. I f it feels like I'm playing on a max main account with a rigor, dude, honestly. Holy crap. Honest oh my god, 48, baby. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. There's nothing at 1500, because that's when I finished the series, so... <laughs> oh shit, 99 freaking range. Oh hell yeah, dude. I knew it was happening today, but that's pretty dope, man. I got it at freaking Ohm, dude. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Haha. Uh -huh. Yay, that's my second 99. Uh, first one was, uh, of course, hit points, cause I'm a, I was a Slayer prod for far too long. But yeah, man, that's insane, man. Alright, let's see if we get a purple with that. Nah, we didn't, but. Hell yeah, bro. 99 range. Oh, f. I think I can dodge this bomb. Oh, wow. That was close. Oh, hell yes! Yeah. 70 Hunter? Okay. Uh, I wonder if every 10 intervals might give me some more, more bird snaps by a bit. Who knows? Ice Demon Room is without a doubt the worst room to do in solo raids. It's okay in group raids, but in solo raids, it's terribly slow. It used to take anywhere from 6 to maybe 9 minutes, but they made a big change, or big changes to Ice Demon recently, where Every process of Ice Demon has become dramatically easier. Number one, kindling. Before, you could only get one kindling per action if it was successful, but now you will get multiple based on your woodcutting level. And another big change that they did to the burners is that you can now stack your kindling. And third, Ice Demon is now a lot uh, less tankier. So that means you can actually hit with your goddamn weapons a lot more consistently. All of these quality of lights put together has resulted in an ice demon room that I can do with this gear in about 4 minutes or less. The method to do soul ice demon that I found best is now to simply focus on two burners and make sure your inventory space is anywhere from I would say 10 to 15 inventory spaces. Your goal is to light two burners that don't have ice demons. So you want to fill up two inventories worth of kindling and light one burner and then after that burner is lit you want to get another two inventories and light a second burner as shown in the video and that's it ice demon is done however if you don't have like 10 inventory spaces or your wood king level is really low you might want to go for a fifth inventory 
and put that fifth inventory in your original burner, and it should be ready. Oh, I'm missing though. I'm a bit splashy. Oh, there we go. We got a hit. Oh, my overload ran out, but it's okay. Holy shit, a 30? 21? Let's go. I might need to do some floor cap though, honestly. Holy shit. There's the damage, boys. Ho 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 ho. Let's go, boys. Okay. I, I should probably just walk, man. Yeah, I don't even have to, like, uh, run, actually. It's kind of a waste of run. Woo! That was fast as fuck, honestly. So, the Fire Surge is pretty nice for Ice Demon now. However, in a solo raid, I probably wouldn't bring it, especially if you're self-scouting. But in a group raid, and if you have an ult holding the raid, it's probably worth bringing. It'll definitely speed up the kill by a bit. However, I've tested Blow Pep as well, and it does really well against Ice Demon. Especially if you have a Warhammer spec as well. I, even I'm not even sure if I have that type of passion. Wow, look at Rigor go, dude. Holy shit. This thing's dead. Wow, I just destroyed Fossa. Before two crystals even happen. <laughs> that is just wild. Absolutely wild. Holy crap. I don't even know if this is a PB, but this might be a PB. Yeah, I think this is a PB, though. Nonetheless, 20 minutes. Uh, no purple, though, but... <clears throat> Imagine PB with an Ice Demon though. 2806, not bad. Rigor definitely uh helps carry that for sure. Ooh, Sunny One of Jody, guys. Uh, basically, I've ran out of stamina, so I gotta do some laps and get some more stamina through marks. So, oh my god, dude. If we don't cut this tree, holy shit. Oh, what? I just got Sunny Woodcutting. Okay. Oh, 87 farming. Keeping up with my, uh, his spoiler runs here. Just cause this guy's got some pretty good seats. That's a, it should be a pretty easy PB, but honestly, it's my first ray of the day though, so I really, I really should not underestimate this raid at all. Whoa, that was fucking risky. I wasn't even sure if that was gonna kill it. Yikes. Wasn't sure, man. Oh, nice. Wow, that was a great PB. Damn, 25 minutes. So the next upgrade, which is Primordial Boots, is coming up. So in 25 more raids. I'm going to go and look for a Serp task. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this Cape Kraken task with the Tentacle still. So, But yeah, I want to have a Cerberus task ready for when I have 150, 150 raids. And then just go right into the Serp grind. I think Twisted Buckler is probably... Uh, more magic defense. Oh my god, wow, that's a lot of magic defense. Alright, this is my new gear, 200 magic defense. Awesome, yo. Know, this, uh, crack and test is gonna be a lot easier. Also, that trap the swamp. Just a rough guess, you know. Oh, here it is, 95 magic. Hell yeah. A combat level, not at rates. For the first time in a, in a little bit. We have killed 93 krakens with this setup. I actually, was not expecting such a high, uh, high kill count trip, you know? So, agility is gonna be a regular thing that I have to do from time to time. So, I gotta do some agility now because my stamina's are non-existent once again. So, I thought, why not do some agility alchemy, right? Let's go. Another agility level. 72. Stronghold Slayer Cave Narrow Tunnel. Oh, this one's pretty convenient. To be honest, yeah, I probably still do Koras tasks or something. If I do Slayer for those, I'll probably still do those tasks. So that's convenient over there. So woodcutting has actually become quite important now for raids because woodcutting impacts two runes. If you guys didn't know, I didn't know for the longest time, that higher woodcutting allows you to cut the tree and meal down faster, which it's a big deal because the faster you get it done, the less damage you take. And also Ice Demon too. Because of the changes recently, higher woodcutting means you get Ice Demon done quicker. So woodcutting is actually going to impact how fast you're doing two rooms. That's huge. That's actually quite important. You know, speed up a lot of time. It'll definitely make my rates a bit faster. It's really nice. And plus, it's AFK skilling, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a lot of time just AFK woodcutting. Just because it'll help me out a lot 
And also, I plan on getting construction done at some point. I want to get to at least 83, you know, for like the Ornit jewelry box, the pool, and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to AFK a fossil island um, and just cut some teaks. I like this spot. Really nice. It's really AFK. I never have top worlds because, you know, I own these uh, trees. Nobody's going to mess with my trees. And yeah, it's way more relaxing than the Ape Atoll. So the bank is close by. Beautiful. I'll be here for a while. Probably all the way 99, not going to lie. I want to talk to you guys about a really important topic, and this topic is sponsorships. I have been making videos full-time and streaming full-time for about a year now, ever since graduating. And I love doing this, but at the same time, I have to think about sustainability. You know, how can I make this job sustainable? As in, how can I do this for a long time without having to worry about paying bills and, you know, being an adult and all that stuff, right? So sponsorships, I think it's the key, and I think it is the right time that I start thinking about it. Right now, I have a really good opportunity to take a sponsorship that I think will help this channel a lot and isn't really going to you know, negatively impact the viewers. You know what I'm saying? It's just basically sponsoring a mobile game. And by doing so, it will help this channel a lot because I won't have to worry so much about finances and continue doing what I want to do, right? Make videos and stream for you guys and all that stuff. So really soon, I'm going to be doing a potential sponsorship ad on a video. It's going to be like 45 seconds to a minute. And I just want to let you guys know. And if you have any, you know, thing to say about that feedback wise, do let me know. I hope it works out. I don't, I don't really know, man. It's, it's, it's one of those, you know, fickle things, man. A lot of people perceive, you know, sponsorships as very negative, but this is my job. So, you know, I have to definitely think about this from a financial standpoint. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening, and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys soon with another episode of the Iron Man Ray Specialist very soon. Take care, and bye-bye.